Uh, this is a new part, right? Yeah, this hey, is new. Babies, we're back. We're back, and um, I'm still struggling with this stupid dude, so we'll see. I'm just bad at video games. We'll see what happens this go around. Well, um, so it turned out it turned out to not happen. Remember last time when I yelled death montage really big? Yeah. And then you gave me like two more deaths before you became so frustrated that you literally could not handle playing the game for another second and we had to take a little breaky break? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> I love yelling for no reason, so that's cool. I mean, I'm not lying. <laughs> I do love yelling for no reason. I'm going to adjust the mic. I hope, I hope the audio is not being shit because the mic's been there the whole time. <laughs> I feel like I'm hitting a little weaker. I don't know why. Well, it's because you're a huge baby. Why am I? Hold on. Are you actually hitting weaker? Don't your don't your weapons have um uh 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 uh, uh, uh can't they break in this game? Yeah, they can, but this one's not at that point yet. Yeah, not not sharpness, but uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? They have a uh you durability? know durability. Yeah, boy, dude, my brain's been like, um, excuse me, my brain's just like omitting words lately. Yeah, it might have been like that as well, too. Are we getting old? Yeah, a little oh, bit. I guess 63 is kind of old. <laughs> yeah, that mm. 69 age is a little <laughs> bit up there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the sex number. Yeah, <laughs> likes the sex number. Uh, I'm cutting that. No, you're not. Uh, you're right. You're keeping that in. <laughs> you're keeping that in, you son bitch. Oh, my God. Remember I said, oh, okay, if it's really prevalent, I'll just look at it later. But I just I keep seeing I do a, I do a lot, of, not a lot of, I do some YouTube work now, so I'm getting um, notifications for stuff that we need and stuff. Oh, they just, oh, they just sent a big old heart. Heart to YouTube, buddy. Heart oh, for what? Oh, yeah. Ugh. This is so stressful. Uh, I don't know. Is it stressful? Are you just mm, bad at games? If it wasn't for his bullshit bad poisoning, then that would be fine. Games. Yeah. I think it's it'd be funny if, like, what if I... And I'm, I'm not saying this will happen, but what if I'm, like, talking all this shit, talking all this shit, and I want you to, like, lose your... Like, just get mad and just throw the control at me and say, All right, since you're so good at games, why don't you do it? And then I just, it like... I just fluke it and get it on the first shot. <laughs> Because I would totally play it off too. I'd be like, oh, no big deal, man. I wasn't even scared the whole time. I would be, I would be like, all right, I'm <laughs> walking you, out of here, and you, um, I'll see you next week. You're like, listen, I know this isn't a real job, and this is just a hobby, but I quit the channel. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. You find yourself a replacement. Well, I mean, I got a roommate, and I'll just be like, hey, man, listen, <laughs> I don't like doing single plays, and you're always here. Right. I'd, yeah, I'd be like, let's do some duos, man. Let's hit them up. I need to I need to download more. I guess emulation is more acceptable when it's for like SNES cartridges and stuff. Yeah, stuff like that. It turns out there's some really cool um, I think Sega Saturn Gundam games uh, based off Gundam Side Story: The Blue Destiny, which you obviously know nothing about. Yeah, I know nothing about none of that um, stuff. That uh, they just like it takes place. You pilot the F91 Gundam, but you're in the cockpit, and it's really uh, got my my brain just forgot a word. <laughs> um, it's just really uh, it looks cool for its age like that looks cool I bet it I bet it controls like complete ass and I bet it's just bad and not fun but on the off chance that it is I'll start doing that okay. so yeah. Yeah, I'll probably start doing emulation of older games and I probably is it okay what's the so I have Mega Man 0 1, 2, 3, and 4 on Game Boy Advance cartridges right? yeah 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 I also have the Mega Man 0 collection on the DS, one, two, three, and four. So I, I own it twice. So is it fine if I emulate it to play it for the channel? I don't think so. Right? Or I think well, I don't know. Because it's like I'm not I'm not out here distributing it. Well, but then I got it from someone with who has the intent to distribute it. So that's already not okay. Like morally not okay. Yeah, yeah. But I own it twice. It's like that time. No, it's not at all like that. But it reminds me of that story I saw where the one of the guys from Metallica was caught downloading Metallica songs, and so they tried to sue him. And he was like, "I feel like if anyone can download Metallica songs, it'd be a member of Metallica." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Did he just do the poison thing? Oh, you're poisoned. You're poisoned. You're poisoned. Your health. Your health. Oh my god. Your health. Oh my god. 
Andres, Andres, don't I'll, get greedy. I really I know, want. I know he's low. Do I really don't. wanted to get greedy right there. Don't get greedy. Ooh, don't fuck it. Nope. There. I forgot to start the timer. Why don't we call that five minutes? Oh my God. I was for like three minutes, but why don't we try? Why don't we call it five minutes? Uh, uh, I'm gonna stopwatch. Okay. I oh my ready. God. Oh my God. Woo, lad. Like that was that was literal BS. He did his yell. I went to charge after him to like hit two shots and missed, and he destroyed me. Oh, you're such a scrub. Oh my god. I hate this game so much. I hate it. I don't know why I even play it. Oh my god. I'm just... <sighs> <laughs> oh. How many... How many soul souls? Uh, it wasn't a lot. Was it? Okay. No. That's... No. It was like maybe 700. We're doing really good. I oh, went the wrong way right there. Yeah, that's, that's nothing. I just like, I just give up on that part. Yeah, you can just say you gave up. Mm -hmm. If it makes you feel better. I gave up. Yeah. Alright, here we go. Oh boy, that was... Oh my god, that boss is a bitch. Are you kidding me? Uh... I hate everything right now. This game makes me feel bad. I don't know why I play this. I don't know why I talked to you into well, why you talked me into playing this game. You are the one who came to me. I was not. You said, "Hey, you man, said, why don't you do a play do... uh, a playthrough of freaking Bloodborne?" I'm like, nope. "Yeah, sure, man." Absolutely not. You said because I was I had the big sads and I was like, "I'm done with YouTube," and you were just I think you got bored with it. And then late, later you were like, oh, I want to do YouTube things. And I was like, yeah, me too. I'm having fun with it. And so, yeah. And I was like, what, what game should we play, buddy? Old buddy, old pal. And you said, I want to play Bloodborne. I don't remember. And that was this. previous you in the past life. And absolutely that's what happened. I don't recall. That is totally not what happened, by the way, on the record. No, that's actually how it happened. No. Nah, we both fell nah. out of it. And then you were like, I want to play. And you know, like, you know how I get when I play these games, so I don't know why you suggested it. <laughs> wow! Can you imagine being friends with? Lou? You saw what happened Dumbest that one day when you tried to walk in my room. room. <laughs> oh yeah, we were living together at the time. It was fucking three years ago, four years ago. We were living together, and um, I was bored on the couch. And I got up, and I was like, "What's Andres doing?" So I went down the hall, and I, here comes Tomo. I'm bored. Play with me. Um, it, it, that was me. Tomo right now is me. Then. Yeah. I was, I was, and I went to go say, "What's up to my dude?" And the way his TV was situated is he sits, he sits on the edge of his bed facing away from the bedroom door. So um, I just I just saw him I just saw him silently uh, like put the controller like over his head like almost like you're gonna smash it, but he was just like throwing it over his head. And then he and then he just gripped it really hard and then he just put it down really hard on the bed and went <laughs> oh. My and I just left. I was like, ah, and I just left. Just walked out slowly. I saw the gamer rage bite him, like literally take hold of him. I was like, oh my god. So I just left and I sat on the couch. I think a couple, like a couple minutes later, you came out and I was like, what's up, dude? How, how's it going? You're like, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine. Like, you were just like upset. I think that's when I was uh, facing off against Orstein and Smoke in the first Dark Souls. It was, yeah, it was. I remember Dark Souls came out and you were like, ooh, because you're just a fucking masochist. You're into the self immolation. And then you were like, ooh, hurt me, daddy. Oh, hurt you, me but, good. Yeah. Hurt me. I mean, everyone's got to have their shtick, you know? And uh, you found Dark Souls. Like, yeah. when, I, when I think of Dark Souls and Bloodborne and that, I think of you now. I'm like, ah. Oh. Andres is out there. Like if I see if I see news about the next game they're working on, I'm like, oh, Andres is watching this. He's yeah. on the edge of his seat. Like he's just soaking it all in. Yeah, my like, wants to be gone. ready for when that comes out. Oh yeah, clip through the wall. Oh, come on, Alfred, do some. Shot something, but you're done with it. Oh, computer, wake up. Go to sleep. Wake up. Who? Pretend your computer has a concussion. Uh -oh. 
Don't go to sleep, buddy. Remember that time that I think we're pretty sure I got a concussion at work when that crowbar hit me in the face? Oh yeah. That was the shit. And Ted's reaction. Wow. Yeah. Ayo. When you unload a truck full of appliances, you'll have two fridges standing upright, and then you'll have a fridge laying down on top of them. It's just an efficient way to ship appliances. And so I grabbed, we grabbed that fridge that was on top. We, we slid it out and then angled it down to slide it down. And I just heard like a shoop real quick. And before I realized what was happening, it was a crowbar sliding from one side of that thing to my face. Yeah. It only had enough time to go, like, let's say like a 45 degree like tilt. Yeah. From, let's, I think it, it was... I guess maybe either halfway or more, so maybe the full length of the fridge, down to my noggin. And so it hit me, I saw literal stars, I I was confused but still holding on to a 400 pound refrigerator, so I just kind of had to hold it. And yeah. <laughs> Ted was there with me, I just remember going, Ted! Ted! <laughs> and he goes, wow, <laughs> man! <laughs> it's yeah. like, in my mind, I didn't know what to do, so my mind was like, just call for help. And I said, Ted, Ted, Ted. And he came over. And you grew a third eye. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it looked like a bottle cap on my forehead. Too bad I, I still I don't have that picture still. Whew. And yeah, then I remember, that, that thing was huge. And then I remember I drove three hours to my brother's house. <laughs> and then um, I tried not to go to sleep for as long as possible. Yeah, that was wicked, dude. Like, dude, I was so scared of going to sleep and just, and, like, just dying. Because, like, I read up about concussions and it was freaking me out. And it has to be, like, a sick concussion where like if you pass out like that's it your brain just like yeah night. yeah it gives you the big good night forever and you take the big sleep i was so terrified <laughs> like it was it was like i've taken bigger hits and been fine but it was just so scary oh wow i looked at the screen i was just kind of ta- i think talking kind of puts you in the focus mode a little bit yeah well, ooh. I'm, I'm i'm gonna not start yelling like i did last time i know it's just gonna stress you out so I'm just gonna, you know, just remember, you know, don't get greedy. Well, Alfred's been there. As long as Alfred catches his aggro, I'll be fine. Yeah. Well, he's hanging out in the back right now. Okay, ah. he got the shot. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! You bitch ass bitch, bitchy bitch! Oh, I'm gonna curtsy all over you. I. Oh no, I'm gonna shake off Cape. Yeah, I'm I a love, badass. I love. Ray Slaughter. And I did that in uh, one take. Uh, yeah, don't uh, just ignore everything that happened before this. I was in one take. Oh, should I edit out the last two epi- the last three episodes? The last three episodes. <laughs> I think you have enough for a little bit of a death montage. <laughs> I think I died at least seven uh, times. What kind of time are we at? We're at, we're at seven minutes in this video. We still got time in this video. Cool. Yeah. And I already explored if, over if here. Go okay, to... so um, I'll show you a couple... I'll show you a secret. Show me some some secret? secrets. Oh, we're gonna sh we're gonna give away secrets. If you don't like secret spoilers, um, mute your screen now. Mute that screen. Yeah, mute the screen means just punch it, punch it in the face, turn it off forever, and then buy a, <sighs> buy a new one and keep watching. Buy a new one. Buy a new one when you're done. Like you don't know how satisfying it was. Oh my god. <laughs> Like a big old relief, is the, like just gone. Now. Is that is that why is that why you play these games? It's that huge. It's that huge. It's that suffering? huge sense of accomplishment. I was gonna say it's that suffering and how upset and how like like it affects your real life. Like you don't you don't turn around and go ah well I'm mad at the game but I'll have some pizza. Like you turn around and you walk down the hallway pissed. Yeah. You're like fuck this, fuck everything. Like I'll kick a wall, I'll punch a door. I'm so mad. Like it affects you in reality. But so then when you beat it, it's that overwhelming sensation of, I did it. Okay. Okay. Funny story. Um, you sure. know how last week uh, we did our uh, Dungeons & Dragons? Mm -hmm. I actually came over super pissed that day. <laughs> <laughs> I was livid. I was livid. <laughs> so I was in the Chalice Dungeon, yeah. and it's a bitch dungeon because what happens is a cursed dungeon so what that means is you have half health and enemies are stronger than normal it's a curse of and this boss in particular i had to do it a certain way so it literally was taking me about 30 to 45 minutes to try to get this boss all the way down he literally needed two hits 
And one of the things that he does is that he came out with you, the clutch. You, no, you hit, uh-huh. you hit him, and then you run underneath his legs. Yeah. He had been lifting his right leg the whole time <gasps> for a stomp. He baited you. So I ran underneath. I ran to. I ran to the left. Yeah. He lifted his left leg up and then just curb stomped me to the ground. He literally had like, like that last take on this uh, boss. He had that much health left. It's like so. The way to beat it is you have to cheese it, right? You just have to do that cheese of hit, run, hit, run, hit, run. In a sense, and yeah. it's like it's like they've gotten to the point where it's so meta, where they're like, here's this boss, in Bloodborne, and the only way to beat it is to cheese it in this certain way. Not the only way, but yeah, a good way to do it is to cheese it in a certain way. Holy shit. And um, and it just seems like they got to the point where here's the easy way to cheese it. We're going to make it so that we're going to give them like basically like almost like the desire meter that a game has where yeah. like you need one last thing and the game's like, oh, you need that? Mm, it yeah. never shows up anymore. And then, um, yeah, I, I got fucked hard. And it's almost like it did that. It was like when it gets down to a certain percentage of health, like 2%, 3% health, It'll do the other leg. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I was livid that and day. That would be that would be like so I literally sick. as soon as he curb stomped me, I turned off the PS4. <laughs> I raged. I it. left my house. I slammed my door. <laughs> Came straight to my house. I <laughs> to play D and D. I t- turned up the music in my car and I yelled, <laughs> like "Fuck! Fucking bullshit! That was bullshit!" <laughs> And I just came straight here. You came straight to my house to play D and D. Yep, I was livid. I was so upset. No I missed this jump. Ah. <laughs> oh, what a nice story, man. So yeah, I was in a foul mood until we started playing. <laughs> then I got better, and then I went back. That I went back after we finished playing our session. I went back and beat him that time I Dude. made sure to pay attention to see which leg he lifted up first before I actually assumed that it was hilarious to share that, to, to share that with you <laughs> <sighs> that was good stuff oh my lord so, uh, you, we're, so at, we're at 11 minutes you wanna yeah. Are you going to do anything drastic in this episode? Should no, I'm just going to show you. This is, this <gasps> oh, scenario. right. You take me to the secret. Yeah. And you yeah. and you told me that nice... You told me and the viewers that nice story. That's right. I got one, oh. more, I got one more story, too. By the way, viewers, if you're, th- if you're thinking about uh, playing D&D, D- D- Dungeons & Dragons, and you've got a guy that can... Uh, if you've got a good DM, you know, someone that can help you start it up, uh, go for it. And even if you don't have anyone, um, get some people together and start playing D&D. It's... It's heck of fun. It's fun to figure shit out. Um, I'll tell you what, it's probably more fun... Nice. With a DM that knows what he's doing, than a brand new DM. What the hell? Oh. Yeah, because I think Daniel wasn't really familiar with it, but he did like yeah. so much research on it. What that, it is was, yeah. he's, he was, he's been playing in a game with someone else who's been a DM for a long time. Yeah. He did tons of research, because he's just meticulous and he's way into it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, he's just... Fucking, he, he's, he's, he rocks at it. He, he's really good. I have it. a fun time. He plays the music. Remember, uh, he, was, he was bringing music. He brought it over on his phone one time, and it wasn't that great. And then he brought it, he brought a speaker over, and it, come on, and it, uh, the speaker was just like the CD was skipping. Like he was like, oh god damn it! So he just brought his phone again. Yeah. Um, was playing music like that, and I think the last time he just played it off his his he was playing it off his laptop. Yeah, I was playing it off his laptop. And uh, like, oh shit, was that the. The dolls so, uh, yeah, L- uh, look at where we're at. Oh, whoa. Oh, shit. Yep, what? this is out the outside yeah. the hunter's dream, so this is what the hunter's dream is based off of. Oh, there's all kinds of people like, check it out. And looky, it's the doll. Why is there putridness an abandoned doll? One third of an umbilical cord. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, is that the one that it says it gives you quarter of the eye? Is this every great one loses its child and then yearns for a surrogate? Encounter the pale moon, which beckoned the hunters and conceive. Used to gain insight, and so they say, eyes on the inside. And that's what people say it means when you look at the, uh, that, uh, when you glitch the camera through the model of the yeah, yeah. Um, doll. 
And I guess apparently that's what it's talking about. And you see the backs of her eyes have eyes. And it's eyes on the inside. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going to go back to the Hunter stream real quick and uh, do this. That's cool, man. Thanks for showing me that. That's really neat. Yeah, that's a nice little secret area. So now can you dress up like the doll? Yeah. Do it. I totally can. Let me get into her garbs. Things are really weak, though, but still. Yeah, just for looks. Just for meme. Does this uh, does doll clothes uh, uh, do it for you, or what? Yeah, this is doing it for me. Oh, yeah. My sh chick looks like a freaking old-ass lady. I was going to say, your chick looks like an old-ass lady. Kind of does. Cute. Oh, well, which her face is masked most of the time, anyway. So I'm gonna give this little ornament. To the it's girl. like, and you really look like an like an old lady. And she shed a small tear, too. <gasps> oh, wow! <laughs> <laughs> that touched my heart. <laughs> what did you give her? The third umbilical cord? No, I gave her that little, um, the hair ornament. <gasps> yeah. Is she wearing it now? Oh, her face is creepy. I like that. Oh, yeah, and let's, uh, hold on. How do I get rid of this thing? You don't. This is your life now. Okay, there we go. Um, this my my character looks like a fucking Oompa Loompa. Look at that color. She looks old. Oh, hey, especially in that garb. Oh yeah, it said that sometimes when you do emotes at her, she. Oh. Yeah. She's that. like hello. Um. Do a wave. Hello. Oh. 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 And then. Oh nothing. She just kind of looks at you. I don't think she was actually reacting to it. Oh. Oh! Yeah! Oh. <laughs> she clapped for me. Dude, that's adorable. She's like, that's great. Yeah, like, I honestly didn't know. Oh, no, that oh, is so a that reaction. is a reaction yeah. for that. She's like, huh? So, yeah. So, uh. Dude. Yeah, that was the, uh. What I was the Blood Star Beast and then a little secret area for, uh. Yeah. The abandoned workshop um, area. Yeah, anyone who hasn't seen it, I hope you enjoyed it. I yeah. did. I enjoyed it and a lot. And I hope you've enjoyed all that rage I endured. Yeah. Um. I guess we'll see you next time. I love, yeah. I love you, babies. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Dude, that was great. She's like, could this be joy? Is this joy? Uh, I was like, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, if I would have had the monocular on her, you would have saw the tear come down. Yeah. I was like, damn it, I missed an opportunity right there.